Today we're going to show you how you can install the FPGA board package into Arduino. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially while your board package is downloading and installed, to keep up to date with our videos and channel. So, here we have an empty Arduino sketch as standard in Visual Studio, and there is the FPG Arduino GitHub repository, which has an index JSON available, and there is also the FPGA Arduino page, where it explains the their JSON URL. So if we just go back to Visual Studio, we can go to the Visual Micro menu, and then the General option, and go to Configure Arduino IDE Locations. We can add in our extra Board Manager URL here, with a comma at the end as shown, and then you press OK. And now we can go to the Visual Micro Explorer, and we can check for updates to make sure it's pulled everything into this list and then we'll be able to see as here our FPGA Arduino core so we can just select the most up-to-date version and double click and press OK to install and this will take a few minutes which we've skipped through here so if you then press rescan once you get the notification at the bottom this will refresh all of the lists and make the boards available now we can close the Micro Explorer at this point and just select our board from the drop down list but if like me you have a lot of boards installed it's probably easier to use the Visual Micro Explorer as shown here and we can just select this core and then select the relevant board that we have so as you can see there's a wide variety of MIPS and RISC boards available so here we're going to use one of the lattice boards and once you click it here that selected the board for your project so we're going to quickly put in a blink example and once that's done we can simply build or build and upload if your board's connected to complete the process so we've written a simple Arduino sketch which is now ready to go onto our FPGA board and as you can see you've got a lot of code space here with 32 megabytes available